I think that I just want to change my vlogging style. The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I use this at nighttime. What is happening? Hey guys, welcome back. It is super, super late right now. It is 9, 10 p.m. And I honestly had a different video that I was gonna post today, but I was re-watching the footage and I was editing it and I just really wasn't happy with it. And I just felt like it was kind of forced and it just wasn't the content that I wanted to put out there. So I decided to film a different video instead. So I'm gonna do some self-care stuff tonight and I'm just gonna take you guys along with me and chat. I just got back from grocery shopping, so I'm just putting all of the groceries away. I also just wanna say a huge thank you for 500 subscribers. It's just crazy to me that there's 500 of you guys out there that want to see my content and my videos and support me and I appreciate every single one of you so so much. I'm excited for where this channel is going to go and I enjoy making videos for you guys so I really appreciate all the support. Back to the video. Like I said, I just got back from grocery shopping, got raspberries, some asparagus for this like lemon chicken asparagus dinner that I make and I'm obsessed with it. So I got chicken breasts for that. And then I got stuff to make enchiladas because who doesn't like enchiladas? Picked up a frozen pizza for like lunch at any time. And then I got my fix of coffee for the next week. I'm also gonna try the silk almond creamer instead of my regular one just because this one's a bit cheaper. I got some yellow potatoes just as a side dish and a bell pepper for the enchiladas. Picked up some lemon lemons for the chicken and also for lemon water. I just got some spaghetti and pasta sauce because you can never go wrong. It's just a good thing to have in your pantry for if you never know what to make for dinner. I have these old pasta leftovers that have been in my fridge for God knows how long and I'm about to throw them out. Oh, not bad actually. And I also got these eye patches that we're gonna do tonight and I've actually never done eye patches before, so I'm excited. Okay, I can't get this salt thing open. See this? Like it's open, but it's still just not. I think I got a faulty salt box. So if there's one tip I could give you for moving out, it's buy meat in bulk and then section and freeze it. I honestly find that that's the best deal. So I have chicken breast here and some ground beef and I'm gonna section it and freeze it. I'm on this new pain medication for my wisdom teeth and it makes me super super drowsy so if i'm tired by the end of this video that is why besides that it makes me a little bit dizzy sometimes so yeah i'm not loving it but it is helping a lot with the pain all right so i think i'm gonna have a bath usually i don't like baths but i've been trying to get back into them and just kind of use them as a way to relax and meditate and do something other than be in front of a screen all day. So back to what I was saying about the other video and me like not really liking that footage. I've just been feeling lately that maybe some of my content isn't 100% genuine. And as much as I love filming all those videos, I want my content to be as real as possible. Basically what I'm trying to say is I feel like for my vlogs especially, they're just kind of like planned out and I know what I'm doing and that's fine. But I think that I want to just be more real with you guys and more realistic. I just want to change my vlogging style a little bit more and just be able to talk to you guys and be myself. Starting a YouTube channel has been hard. It's definitely given me a lot of confidence and I'm starting to get more comfortable in front of the camera. So I just want to make sure that I'm staying comfortable and genuine around you guys and creating content that I actually want to create and that I actually want to put out there. And I also want to start making more creative videos to do with like fashion, beauty, and art. So if you have any ideas for that, Comment down below. All right, my phone died, but I'm back. I'm gonna light this candle, vanilla bean. 
It smells so good, but it's so far down that I have to use incense to light it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And this is also vanilla. It scares me when it crackles. Ooh, look at that. Amazing. So like I said, I'm not a huge bath person. So I've decided to make myself a bath person to just make it the most enjoyable that I can, which means essential oils, candles, the whole shebang. figured being the bath is the perfect time to do that this is a beginner's guide to the universe by mike dooley it's a book about law of attraction and just little tips on how to live a happy life and yeah it's been pretty good so far so if you're into that i definitely recommend this one okay i've been in here for like 10 minutes and i'm bored so i'm gonna get out but i don't know if it's just me but like I swear this mask isn't drying like I've had it on for like 25 minutes now and I can still swipe it all like I don't know so we're gonna take the mask off and we're gonna get out of the tub because it's not that enjoyable all right so cleanser I use the purity cleanser and I use Foreo it's like a silicone face brush this is their smallest one and it's battery powered and I've had it for like two years already and this thing is seriously awesome the Thayer's witch hazel toner I love this stuff I just put it on my hands and tap it into the face the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I use this at nighttime and it's just really good to hydrate. Literally like a pea sized amount. And it like kind of lathers at first and then it dries. And then I use a facial oil. This one is Rosehip and Vitamin C. And this is honestly my favorite part. If you have dry skin, especially in the winter, I definitely recommend using a face oil and a moisturizer and i particularly recommend rosehip for dry skin or if you get dry patches because that has seriously been a lifesaver for me and i have been using it for years now and then i used the clinique moisturizer i've been using this for years as well and it's just very underrated clinique has some good ingredients okay, so i'm going to open this eye sheet mask moisture bomb with coconut water and hyaluronic acid so it's just a hydrating one Oh, what the heck? No, you're kidding. Oh my gosh. I thought these were like the under eye patches, you know, that everyone does and I was excited, but it's literally <laughs> a freaking eye mask. What is happening? What? Why? I'm gonna go see what Kyle thinks. What the heck is that? I thought it was like the patches that go under your eyes, but it's literally a, like a superhero mask. <laughs> okay, well this is really funny, but besides the point, it actually feels really good. It says that it has a skin cooling effect, so that's awesome. And we're gonna leave this on for 15 minutes. So while that happens, I'm gonna go make some tea. I can't take myself seriously while I'm looking like this, oh my God. So if I'm not drinking Earl Grey, I drink Sleepy Time Vanilla. I usually have tea every single night just because it just makes me feel better and it's good for digestion. I don't have any spoons. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this off now. Ugh. Honestly, it felt very cooling. It felt pretty nice, but I don't know if it did much. Like I still have dark circles. Anyway, I've just rubbed that in. The last step of my skincare routine is the Kate Somerville uh, Eradicate. This is like the Mario Badescu dry lotion. So you just like hold it in there. I strongly recommend this stuff. It works really, really well on any blemishes or pimples and it's fun to use and doesn't look the worst. So 
I strongly recommend you get this. For body lotion, I use Cetaphil because I have eczema and dry skin, so this just works good for me. I always turn on my little lamp by my bed and the TV because I'm a really big mood lighting person. All right, it is 11.15 now, and honestly, I'm just chilling. I'm officially done my first semester of online university, so for the next month, I'm gonna be focusing on the content that I create for you guys. I have a lot of plans coming up for my channel. I definitely wanna get a camera in January, hopefully, and I'm really excited to create some more better quality content for you guys. I really like making videos. It's so, so much fun for me. It's a really good creative outlet. I wanna keep growing this community and thriving on YouTube and talking to you guys, and it's so awesome. Okay. <laughs> So this whole box is clothes that I sell on Poshmark. I sell all of the clothes that I don't wear anymore. And it's linked down below, so if you wanna shop any of my closet, I'm selling this super cute Tommy Hilfiger bag, for example. Anyway, I just got a notification that somebody bought two of my items, so I'm gonna package it up. And all of this stuff has been washed and sanitized and quarantined in my closet, so it's all good. So the order was just this plain ribbed, white long sleeve and the black sweatpants which are somewhere in here so i'm just gonna fold the clothes nicely i wish i knew how to fold like how they fold in stores but i don't okay and then i'm just gonna wrap it with some tissue paper on the top and then i just take my little thank you card i always write one to every single customer and i just put it on the top and then close the box and then i will tape it up and go print the shipping label but i have to go do that at staples because i don't have a printer all right so it's 11 43 now and i think i'm going to end the vlog here i decided to vlog this on a whim and it was honestly the most chill vlog i think i've uploaded and it was nice to talk to you guys and i want to do more of this soon if you liked the video today, definitely make sure to subscribe. I upload every single Tuesday and Thursday, and I would love to have you a part of the family. Thanks so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!